Yeah, we're online too. Hi, world. <laughs> Let's get started in 2.2 seconds. Okay, here we go. All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Gloria Pope here from Black Girl Everything with Sheena Cruz. Hi, how are you? All right, Sheena, tell everybody <laughs> about your business and tell them about you. Well, um, my name is Sheena Cruz. I am the creative designer and uh, founder of SS House of Couture. Mm -hmm. I started this company, well, I started this company as Dollhouse Couture, I would say about six years ago. Okay. Um, revamped the business, I changed the name mm -hmm. um, to SS House of Couture. Um, and actually uh, the SS House, the SS stands for my daughter's initials. So I'm, oh, I'm, I created it more to create a legacy, mm -hmm. not just not just so close, just gotcha. create more of a legacy mm -hmm. for my kids to, you know, take over. Okay, that makes sense. One day. So when did you decide that you was really, or when did you really find out that you were really into fashion and this was really what you wanted to do? Well, fashion has always been in my life. Yeah. Like, since I was a kid, my grandmother is a seamstress, um, oh, a pattern nice. maker. So I was born into, mm -hmm. you know, the, the fashion industry, I would say. And when I found out what I that I, this is what I wanted to do for the mm -hmm. rest of my life was a uh, good six years ago. Okay. So six years ago, yeah, really I was dug like, in. what is something I, you know, I started thinking like, I, I, wa I always knew I wanted to be a boss on my, you know, have my own business. Mm -hmm. But what was something that I knew I wasn't going to start and not finish? Okay. That was my thing. I was mm -hmm. like, I was, I was start, I was always starting something and not finishing. I'm like, what is it that, you mm -hmm. know, is going to really like, you know, I'm going to stick to and I know that I, I'm going to love, you know, and not get bored of, which was fashion. Which was fashion, cool. <laughs> I went back to right, the roots, great. you know. Now, I know you're also a mom of two. Yes. Which is always interesting. And I'm just happy to meet a lot of mm -hmm. women of color who are actually mothers and really starting businesses. And how was that? Did you find that was challenging for you to get started with your two young children? Um, no, it wasn't. Okay. It wasn't getting past my fears of like, oh my God, what if, what if this doesn't work okay. out was the mm -hmm. hardest part. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as them, I managed. I've taken them with my, with, to photo shoots, video shoots with me. You know, um, I'm constantly like, trying to have them help out in the office and mm -hmm. give them give them some type of responsibility okay and they always get excited about it all right so they're involved yeah, in they're the very process. involved yes oh that's good so you got two little helpers yes basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah free labor right free labor wonderful 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 <laughs> so you're originally from queens yes so as when you was growing up in queens how do you feel that your childhood and your past has influenced your career path well that yeah, goes back to my grandmother you know I was yeah. always helping her or she would always take me to work she worked in a, at a fashion house in the city in mm -hmm. the garment district and um, I was always I was always very involved with her with the process mm -hmm. or even putting you know she taught me how to sew um, young at, at a young age so that's basically where my influence came from definitely just yeah. grandma yes <laughs> All right, because now, honestly, what Grandma did was give you a skill which is going to help you build generational wealth. Right. Which is amazing, because now right. for your kids getting I'm involved. I'm doing the same thing exactly, with them. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> so they can grow and see where they're going to grow from this and everything. Like Absolutely. That. That's really, really cool. So tell me about what type of fashion do you usually design? Is it like everything? I'm not really a mm -hmm. fashion person. I just mm -hmm. know I like when you look cute. <laughs> so I don't really know. Like, to explain to me what you actually do. Well, me, I love couture. I okay. love, you know, something different, something that you're not going to see on everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have a little bit of everything. I have my active wear. I have out of wear, um, you know, accessories, hats, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, t-shirts I'm coming out with a new t-shirt line okay Latina for you know like more Latin based okay. um, you know just something cute like this this is mm -hmm. basically one of them minding my Latina owned business you I know, like representing. That shirt. thank <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah I would say a little bit of everything like uh, sweatsuits a lot of active I've been doing a lot of active wear especially now mm-hmm that's what yeah. everybody, all everybody's wearing exactly. when everybody wants to be comfortable comfy sweats. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So, is it just children or men or just women? Or are you just it's doing everybody? A little bit of everything. Okay. Everybody. So, do you do any custom work? Can people come to you to get custom I work do. done? I do. I do. Um, a lot of custom work for like artists. Okay. You know, when they're on stage, they want to always like mm -hmm. stand out and you know look different, um, have something really 
I do uh, outerwear mostly. Mostly outerwear. Mostly okay, outerwear. They have... come for me for my to, for, to me from my outerwear. Okay, cool. So it's really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So I see you have some items yeah. that you want to show us today. Yes, I do. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> well, this is the kids. I have a little bit of everything, but okay. this is the kids. This actually was a see me. Um, another thing, another one of my passions in fashion is that I love taking something old and like. Re, like reconstruction exactly mm -hmm. so basically my daughter is now seven she had we bought her um uh dress okay when she was like three years old mm -hmm. i was like what am i gonna do with this you know and i just took a jacket and i kind of like reconstructed cute, the whole though. thing let me touch it let me it's a burberry oh this is very nice right? though she loves it yeah this is definitely <laughs> cute Loves it. So I got you know a little custom jacket for my daughter. She's very into fashion. Uh -huh. Also, the younger oh, one. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> right? Do you guys see this in the back here? <laughs> the beadwork on here is great. Right? Look at that. That's one of the custom ones. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. So then I just have you know some outerwear uh -huh. behind you. This is the pants to go with that set. These. This is oh, so comfortable. This is. Look at the and the material is the really. Is. Ooh. You know? Feels good against your skin. Especially right. now it's cooling down. We're getting into sweatpants <laughs> exactly. season. Exactly. But even with this, though, because you still can do brunch in this. Mm -hmm. this is still Just a jacket. Yeah, right. I love it. Thank you. So I have a oh, couple of sets for the top. ladies. I have um, sweatsuits. That more, they're more like unisex. Got you. You know? Got you. Um, have some okay. outerwear. Some outerwear you lay yeah. on. Okay. Very nice. Oh. Denim jackets. Oh, this is this is everyone's favorite. This is one of the custom pieces that uh -huh. um, were in. You can see them in video shoots and photo shoots all over oh, the place. This is cute. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was actually my first one. Can I tell you the story behind this please, one? Please, please share the story behind okay. this jacket right here. So, um, as a business person, uh -huh. uh, you you know that it's very hard to like find your. Um, you know, you lose focus. Yeah. You lose focus, and, and I tend mm -hmm, to lose focus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, at that time, I was, it was like three years ago, before revamping the business to SS Sasa Couture. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm just going to give up on this. I don't know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. um, and I took, poured a glass of wine one night, and I was like, you know what? I had this jacket from a vintage store. Gotcha. Sorry. I'm lost with my words right now. I went to a vintage store. I bought that jacket. And then I already had, like, you know, mm -hmm. the beads and all this stuff. So mm -hmm. I just started messing around with it one yes. night. I got a call for a video shoot. I bought this. And it just took off. Um, and I and was like, I, it, it was just, it's just, basically, it's just one of those moments where you feel like you're about to give up. And yeah. then, boom. Yeah, then it produces for you. Nah, but it's definitely dope. Thank you. I love vintage things when you just recreate yeah. them, make them something new. So say if somebody wanted to find you, how would they find you? Say they have some things at home and you can just take, so you can take materials and mm -hmm. pieces and then make something new from it. Right. All right. So if they wanted to locate you, how can they locate you? Well, I definitely am on Insta, um, social media, Instagram a lot. <laughs> That's basically the main mm -hmm. area. And what is your handle on, uh, social, it's on Instagram? at SS underscore HOC. Okay. And also, my web, the new website will be up soon. Okay, so you're relaunching well. yourself. Yes. At this point. Uh, okay, so then during the COVID, we was unfortunately used doing a fashion expo. Yes. Right, and we do expect that for next spring. Next spring, yes. Next spring, it yes, right? Yes, definitely happening. Is it's definitely exactly. happening. So we're going to figure out how it's going to happen. Exactly. So what do people <laughs> and we expect? have a couple of months now. What are we expecting from that event? Like, what are your well, goals for that Well, my event? goals for that event is basically to come out with a new line. I want to do more um, couture, okay. uh, urban couture. Like, ugh, I just, I got so many ideas in my head. I just want to mm -hmm. finally come out with it. Um, basically, it's going to be um, fashion, art, okay. and music. Ooh. So, it's, it's... Uh, that's why we call a it an expo instead of event. yes 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 i love multi-level events <laughs> i do i do i do they're fun yeah there's a little everything going on a little bit of everything going on um and it gives everybody else a chance and a platform to also you know give show their their best you know dope dope yes. dope dope so what else would you think you want the world to know about you well um 
Other than that, I am definitely into helping other women, okay. you know, grow their businesses and everything like that. So we do have another event. Okay. Um, it's happening a little sooner than the Fashion Expo. It's called Boscation. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a four-day event in Jamaica. Yes. Okay, four I days love the Jamaica. reaction. It's going to be, um, you know, we're going to have some seminars, some some um, women entrepreneurship, you know, sisterhood type of seminars. We're going to have some downtime to, you know, hang out. But it's, um, and we also have some um, things planned so that we can all get together and help the community when we go out there to Jamaica. So it's going to it's gonna be really fun and just a and bomb when experience. we know the dates yes it's actually put it on my sorry calendar. sorry sorry <laughs> it's november 19th to the 22nd yes this november this november oh. i know i know no, i was just talking about going to atlanta <laughs> like i was looking at flights for atlanta this morning i haven't booked yeah. them yet i might have to really look into so this yeah it's enjoy. um i'll definitely send you the information um basically every anyone that do, is interested okay um we're looking for 15 well we're down to 11 slots at okay. this point. And um, we're looking to fill those spots by no later than the end of September. Makes sense. You know? Makes sense. So if people are looking to grow their business and actually just get that sisterhood situation, that's what right. Black Girl Everything is really about, too, right. as well. It's just about giving opportunities to people to expose themselves and, and build all on our networks right. and learn from each other. Right. So I learned a lot from you today about fashion because I have no clue anything about <laughs> it, like, for real, for real. But I like the concept about having, you know, taking old things that will break them new and then right. also creating at the same time right. and stuff like that. And this whole four-day entrepreneurship <laughs> trip in Jamaica. Yes. From Let's the nineteenth to the twenty, yeah, I think I can, I don't know. <laughs> you think you can work something out? Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a phone call so I get out of here. Like, yo, boo, I think I'm just gonna go to Jamaica real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> now, nah, this sounds like a really interesting no, it event. Is, it is. Trying to it's grow gonna be, their businesses, exactly. and that's the point. These have these platforms and these opportunities for us to work together, right? Because now you're part of my network, and I'm now I'm part of yours. And so we're continuing to be a right. resource for each other. That's definitely the goal of, you know, Black Girl Everything just in general. I, exactly. That's the same thing. Yeah, so we got to definitely learn how to support each other. Absolutely. I agree. All the time. <laughs> All right. So you have anything else you want to say? Anything else lastly to um, the viewers? Anybody's no, checking you out? definitely. Follow me on, um, on Instagram. Her at Instagram SS page House is fun. Couture. Um, I'm sorry, SS underscore HOC. And mm -hmm. also, you know, if you anyone is interested in the Bosscation, you definitely email me. Um, and we'll get back to you within the week. All right, perfect. So I'm all her information as usual is going to be posted under this YouTube page, um, which is Black Girl Everything. Don't follow my sister. Please go and subscribe. Also, I'll be sharing information on Instagram and as well as on Facebook Live. Thank you all for tuning in Thank today. Thank you. All right. Bye. Till next time, guys. <laughs>